pray effectively. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what we're going to talk about, Doc. Mm -hmm. You are a medical doctor and every day you face people with problems. Yes, yes. And you give them a uh, diagnosis and uh, what to do, mga advice. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but deep in your heart, you know, prayer. Yes, yes. Is uh -oh. the best. Yes. The number one thing that we can advise people to do. Yes, yes. But uh, there are so many times that prayers are unanswered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Prayers uh, remain, it's like not effective. Mm. Yes, yes. So it would be wonderful for us this morning to yeah, so discuss yeah. uh, what are ways mm. to increase uh, the effectivity, effectivity of our prayers. Of our Some prayer. people siguro don't like to pray because they feel that Right, it's, right. It's, uh, it's not, uh, it doesn't have any results or yes, it doesn't yes. have any effect. Mm. But uh, what are some ways that we can uh, increase the effectivity of our prayers? Yes. Uh, but before anything, I would like to greet everybody. Mm -hmm. A very great morning dito sa atin. Mm -hmm. Ito yung, uh, this is our first, for me, this is the first uh, morning uh, discussion with Pastor Ching wow. and this is a great opportunity for all of you to mm. to hear from us and we uh, opportunity that we could bless all of you kasi yun yung problema ng marami tayong listeners viewers we all have problems diba Pastor yeah. and then what we like is um, that, that opportunity yung prayer natin mm. that that could reach the Lord yeah. Sa akin, Pastor, uh, I have, for me, I, I have this personal ministry that I call, that when I understood the grace message, mm -hmm. I, I understood that 20 years ago, it was the difference between the old and the new covenant. Mm -hmm. sa, sa iba, karamihan, malalim yun eh. Mm -hmm. Kaya sabi ko, it should be a personal ministry so that I could explain what I've, I've read. Now, with regards to prayer, the question is, are you praying the old covenant way mm -hmm. or are you praying the new covenant way? Very important question. Yun yung pinaka-importante. <laughs> uh, when you say old covenant way, it's your performance. It's your effort. You impress the Lord of how good you are. So, you bless ka. Yung mabait ka na eh. So, you approach the Lord na... Ibi-bless ako ni Lord kasi marami ako nagawa mm. na tama this week. Mm. That's the old covenant way. And siguro sa nakikinig, mm. eh ganun din naman ako, huwag nagdasal eh. Mm -hmm. I, I first check myself. Mm -hmm. If I'm worthy for the blessings, mm -hmm. then that's how I will ask the Lord. Mm -hmm. Pero ayun, hindi alam ng karamihan. That's an old covenant way of praying. Wow. When you say old covenant, Yung sabi sa Bible kasi is, the old covenant was given to Moses. So, to make it simple, Moses brought the Ten Commandments. Eh, sabi ni Moses, those who could fulfill the Ten Commandments, I will bless you. Sabi ni God. Eh, and if you don't fulfill? If you cannot fulfill all, curses will follow. So, if you think about that kind of way of approaching God, you are operating on the old covenant way. The most difficult thing doon is you have to perfect all the requirements. Unless you perfect it. Unless you don't, your prayers cannot be answered. Kunyari, sabihin natin yung requirement ni Lord is 10 over 10. E 9 over 10 ka lang. E sabi sa James 2.10, if you fail on one, you are guilty of all. So, sabihin mong, hindi, eh, papayag na si Lord. One, one wrong lang naman ako eh. Eh, si Lord kasi mataas ang standard. Hindi mo pwedeng ibaba yung standard niya. He is always a 10 over 10 God. He wants us perfect and righteous. Kaya sabi sa Bible, the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. So, if you want to have an effective prayer, you have to be righteous. Ayan ang question. Because the prayer of a righteous man uh, The prayer of a righteous man is powerful. is powerful and effective So if hindi tayo righteous Kung hindi ka righteous, hindi powerful and effective uh, Hindi effective okay. Ang tanong ngayon doon mm -hmm. Paano ka maging righteous? <laughs> <laughs> doon tayo tayo mapunta So you follow the Ten Commandments You have to follow the Ten Commandments without Obey any mistake everything. 
You obey everything because if we disobey just one, you are guilty of all. So, for example, uh, you have no sin except that you look at a woman, wonderful, sexy woman, lustfully. Mm -hmm. You are committing adultery. Yeah. So, you are one over uh, nine over ten. Uh -huh. And based on that verse, guilty of one, guilty of all, mm -hmm. then you are zero over ten. Then how can your <laughs> prayers be answered? Mm. But if you say, mabait naman ako, madami na akong ginawa. Mm -hmm. Nakasimba naman ako, naka-prayer naman ako, naka nakabigay naman ako ng tithes ko. But my question is, have you fulfilled the 10 over 10? Or else you are putting God's standard down. Huwag mong sabihin, pwede na tukang Lord 7 over 10. Eh, hindi naman paayag si Lord ng 7 over 10. Now, the, here comes the new covenant. Yes. When, when you say new covenant, new covenant is Jesus already. There's, there's Jesus in the picture. So, Jesus came to fulfill the Ten Commandments. So, si Jesus lang yung naka-fulfill, di ba? Mm. And then, perfectly he's... Okay. Perfectly. No, no, no mistake. Then, he said, if you believe in me, I'll give you the gift of righteousness. Mm. When you say the gift of righteousness, yung, yung perfect life ni Jesus Christ is given to you by just you believing. Wow. So, by just believing on that, you become righteous mm. now. So, sa mga televiewers, sabihin mo lang na, I believe in Jesus and I'm, I, I receive the gift of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Righteous ka na. Mm -hmm. Kasi no old covenant pastor, you perform the ten, then you become righteous if you fulfill all. Mm. In the new covenant, Jesus performed all everything. Mm -hmm. So, yung righteousness, Pastor, parang naging bagay na lang. Mm -hmm. Parang bagay. Na ibibigay na lang ni Jesus sa'yo. Yan. O, receive mo na lang. It's a gift. Gift na. So, righteous I don't na. have to pay for it or earn no. it. You don't, you, ha, you don't need to earn it mm -hmm. because if you... Because it's a gift. Mm -hmm. If you pay me, that's not a gift. No longer a gift. That's uh, a reward. Mm. Righteousness is not a reward. Not a reward. Uh, a gift. In the Old Covenant, kaya nga binabalik ko yung Old and New Covenant para maintindihan natin. No? Mm. In the Old Covenant, it was a reward system based. You have mm -hmm. to be the perfect person as possible. Mm -hmm. In the New Covenant, you just need to have faith in Jesus. Mm -hmm. You become righteous. So, I'll go back to the question. If being righteous will make my prayer effective, mm -hmm. so before I pray, I, I will declare, mm -hmm. I am righteous by faith in Jesus. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm believing that His righteousness is on me mm -hmm. as a gift. Yes. In that moment, I pray. So in the eyes of God, I am righteous not by my performance, mm. I am righteous by my faith in Christ that, that the righteousness is just received. Yeah. The miracle of transfer. Mm. Yung bang, many people cannot really fathom na righteousness pala pwede ibigay. Mm. Ang, ang bola pwede ibigay. Ang baso <laughs> pwede. Pero righteousness <laughs> is to be performed. Uh. But that, we go back to that issue on Jesus mm. on the cross. Jesus did not perform sin. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said He became sin mm -hmm. so that we become the righteousness of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. So meaning, we gave Jesus sin. Mm -hmm. We transferred our sin without Him performing sin. Mm -hmm. Faith lang yung ginawa ni Jesus. May sin na siya. Mm -hmm. Without performance of sin. Mm -hmm. Immediately, at that moment, He became sin. Mm -hmm. So now, I am sitting here and I want to pray. I will just say, I, by faith in Jesus, by faith in Jesus, I am righteous. Mm -hmm. So immediately, I am righteous. Why? Because it's my declaration of faith that I am receiving His righteousness. Because He already received my sins. Mm -hmm. Then I will pray. Wow. It's like uh, the great exchange. The great exchange. Uh, like uh, going back to this uh, illustration. <laughs> 
<laughs> if uh, if yeah. you are Jesus and yes. I am a yes. sinner, yes, this is my sin. Yes, I'm sin. a sinner. Yes, Jesus received my sin. Yes, all my sin, even future sins. Yes, and then I receive the righteousness of Jesus. Right. right. So I am righteous yeah. before Abba Father God. I am mm. righteous. And Jesus, he became sin. Became sin. That's why he had to die on the cross, because yeah. by dying on the cross, the penalty for sin. Yes. He hungry received. Yes. Death. Yeah. Ang wage of sin. Mm. For the wages of sin is death. death. Word of God. So you na 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 he he paid it. Receive the penalty for sin, mm. and we receive. Yes. The rewards of yes. righteousness. Yes. So we re we are. Sometimes we pray, Doc. We uh -huh. feel so undeserving. Mm, yes, yes. We pray like many times. Mag pray time. We have problems. We have mga sickness or we have mga problems financially. We say, Lord, I don't deserve. And mm. yeah, it's true. We can never deserve. And, mm. and the, the error is maybe we think uh, one day I will deserve. No, there's yeah. no way. There's no, no way. No matter how good you are, there's no way you can deserve. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you know, Jesus received on the cross what He did not deserve. Mm. So that we may receive what yes. we can never, ever, ever deserve. Yes. But we are righteous because we didn't deserve to be called righteous. The same way he didn't deserve to be called sin. Yes. The same way. But we are righteous. Right. Simply because of what he did at the cross. Something we receive by faith. And mm. if some of our viewers, Doc, are not yet sure mm. of, of their right standing before God, mm. Uh, maybe they, if you ask them, what does God think of you? Yes. How does God feel about mm. you? Uh, many would say, I, I'm a filthy sinner. Mm. I'm mm. so unworthy. Mm. God doesn't like me. Mm. I think he's he is disturbed. I yes. mean, he's disgusted Angry. about me. Yes. Uh -huh. What do you what what would you say to them, Doc? Always remember, if you when I watch the young Son of God, the movie. Oh, any any Jesus movie, mm -hmm. we could divide the audience or the participants in that movie as the sinners and the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Jesus came for the sinners. Mm -hmm. Meaning, whoever you are, whatever your sin may be, mm -hmm. Jesus came for you. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, if you believe in me, my righteousness is a gift to you yes. because if you are righteous you could already pray and you will already receive God's blessings through your effective prayer mm -hmm. kung niyo yung sa movie yung Pharisees nagagalit kay Jesus mm -hmm. why? because the Pharisees hate that ministry of Jesus mm -hmm. why? because the Pharisees did a lot of good things mm -hmm. mababait naman yung mga Pharisee Mm. Hindi talaga sila yung mga masasama talaga in the eyes of man. I mean, they are mm. good people. These Pharisees are good. Very disciplined. Religious. And they, they really, really serve. Mm -hmm. The sinners are yung sinasabi nilang, we are hopeless. We mm. haven't done anything good. Mm -hmm. And Jesus here coming in saying, kayo sinners, you believe in me, you are righteous. By give, I'll give you the gift of righteousness. Mm. The Pharisees hate that kasi para sa Pharisees, no, you have to perform that first like us. Mm. That's why they hate Jesus because for the <laughs> Pharisees, you, you have to be the best person you should be. Mm. Many people, they, they think na, kaya ako hindi na-answer ang prayer ko, pero pag siguro, pag naka, if I'll be very active in church and I, I will attend all these things, then God will bless me. Mm. That act, that is actually a old covenant. You are looking at your performance. That's, that's just like the Pharisees. The Pharisees, even if nag-attend ka na ng church, nag-serve ka na, mm. everyday nagsisimba ka na, and sabihin mo kay Lord, Lord, i-bless mo na ako, dami ko nang ginagawa. <laughs> you are lifting what you have done. Mm. You are boasting. Sabi nga sa Bible, it is mm. by grace so that no one can boast. Mm. You only boast on Jesus' performance. So you could say, Okay, Lord, hindi ako nakapagsimba. Alam ko, sa mata mo, hindi ako righteous. Pero mm. may sinabi sa TV, by faith, I am righteous. Mm. Yun ang gusto ko ngayon, Lord. Mm. By faith, kung performance ko lang, kulang. Pero, 
I'll, I'll believe in you. Mm-hmm. And today, I'll be righteous by faith. So that's mm-hmm. the solution the, on the mm-hmm. question that you said. Regardless of how you think the Lord is angry with you, mm-hmm. but when you declare Jesus as your righteousness, mm-hmm. God will look at you as what Jesus has already done. Mm-hmm. You, you are perfect in the eyes of God. Yes. Some, some, uh, some, bili- uh, some listeners might say, Doc, uh, I, I will not pray about my situation because the Lord is punishing me. Right. The Lord is uh, doing this. He is making my business fail. He is making me sick because the Lord right. is uh, punishing me. Right. Right. Uh, and so, why should I I pray for one? I will mm. just pray for mercy. Please, mm. Lord, stop punishing me. Yes. Uh, because maybe you people feel like yeah. I failed the Lord, I've done mm-hmm. something wrong, I mm-hmm. sinned, and mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm being punished. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that, how, how, how would you... Uh, always remember, when, the reason why Jesus came and He was punished on the cross, mm-hmm. we all know this, we all know this, that that punishment is for our sins. Mm-hmm. If you have received Jesus, Meaning, Jesus is your Savior. Mm-hmm. You acknowledge that move of Jesus, mm-hmm. that your sins is on Jesus already, mm-hmm. and that, that sins are punished in Jesus. Mm-hmm. So, me now, now that Jesus is my personal Savior, mm-hmm. not everything works in my life. Not every business that I come into will prosper. Mm-hmm. Should I say, pinapanish ako ni Lord sa kasalanan ko eh. Mm. Then that means I'm not a Christian. Because mm. a Christian believes that my, my sins are punished in Christ. Mm-hmm. Now, if you still believe na ipapanish ka ni Lord sa sin mo, i-Christian ka na. <laughs> Meaning, God is practicing double jeopardy. Mm-hmm. That sin was was punished in Christ. Already. In already. Then, that same sin will be punished to you. Mm-hmm. So, paningin mo talagang si, si God, pan, the punisher lang talaga. <laughs> so, always remember that Jesus did mm-hmm. a great work. Yes. And, and the greatest thing of, 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 of Jesus is that all your sins, mm-hmm. past, present, future, is mm-hmm. punished on the cross. Wow. We cannot understand that kasi tao tayo eh. But in the eyes of God, even it's 2,000 years ago, he already see this moment. Mm-hmm. Why? Because he created time, and time is not an issue for God. So meaning, mm-hmm. your sins, although we are not promoting sin, mm-hmm. but we the truth not. is, you cannot surprise God mm-hmm. with the sin that you're going to do tomorrow. He knows mm-hmm. that already. Mm-hmm. So that sin was also passing in the cross through Jesus. Mm-hmm. Hindi pwede ma-surprise mo si God na, Uy! Nakagawa ng kasalanan. Hindi ko alam yun ah. <laughs> Na-surprise. Na-surprise. At, you cannot uh, surprise God. That sin <laughs> is punished also uh, under the cross. Mm-hmm. And that makes me actually not to sin anymore, di ba? I mean, yes. of, wow, talaga Lord. Wow, mm-hmm. such grace. That doesn't mean, uy, magawa ako ng maraming sin. No, the, the, the tendency is mm-hmm. to have faith in God and to, to embrace His love for you kasi parang mm-hmm. binigay talaga niya ang lahat eh. Yes. So, Sometimes we, we may not get it right in business, pero if you really understand failure, it's mm. not really failure is that God left you, no. Mm. Pag nagbabay ka, first time, kahit Christian ka, matutumba ka pa rin. Mm. Kasi magbabalance ka pa eh. Then you will now understand, bakit ako natumba? Then you understand. Again, that's... Don't, mm. don't question that failure about mm. God's love for you. Mm. It's just a learning process. And mm. if you continue on, the Lord will always be there hanggang yung bite mo babalance na. Yes. So, don't, 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 wag mo na ipasok yung pinapanis ako ni Lord. Mm. Your sin has been punished already. You're just, mm. you're just uh, sharpening your skills. You're just sharpening your, your swords. That's it. Wag, wag mm. nang isyuhin yung galit kasi si Lord sa akin. Yeah. That's why when you continue on, then you see, oh, you know, business ko nagprosper na. I learned from my mistakes. Mm-hmm. No issue of God punishing you. It's just the normal thing in life. All punishment has already been poured out 
yep. has already been received by Jesus, there's no more punishment left. For those mm. who believe in Christ Jesus. Yes. For those who believe in Christ that, Jesus. That is so empowering. Yep. And uh, about the concern, uh, we, will that make people sin because there's no more punishment? Mm. Actually, uh, for me, Doc, I realize um, sin is some sort of a coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. It's an effort to satisfy a need. Right. Uh, a need for belongingness, mm -hmm. a need to be accepted, a need to be loved. Now, now that we see this awesome, great kind of love ni Father God yes. in Christ Jesus, all our needs are met in Him. Yes, yes. And uh, actually, prayer becomes something enjoyable. Yes, yes. Prayer is not a chore that you have to perform. perform. It's not a duty. It's not like, Uy, Christian, I, need I to have pray. to pray uh, 15 mean, minutes, 30 minutes. It's something you cannot wait. Yes. It's you are talking to somebody mm. who likes you yes, very much, yes. loves you very much, who is just enjoying you mm. very much. Right, right. That is our Father God in heaven. Right, right. Yung ang sometimes siguro when when people are was is listening, an mm. effective prayer baka sabihin pa siguro dapat naka kneel down mm -hmm. or naka flat or you have to prepare the environment. Mm -hmm. Baka they were expecting that, no? But in all honesty, when you say prayer, it's simply talking to God. Eh? Mm. And also Him talking to you. Wow. And there's no rules on that. Uh, at night, when I'm very sleepy, mm -hmm. and I still need to pray, what I do? I sleep. <laughs> Matulog na lang ako. <laughs> Bakit ko? Eh, antok na ako eh. Magagalit ba si Lord sa akin? Bakit sa mga galit? God has forgiven me all of my sins through Christ Jesus. Mm. So, there's no more for me, for God to punish me. But God mm. is waiting for me to wake up. Mm -hmm. Because when I wake up, I said, good morning, Lord. Then, mm. the start of the day, talking to God while driving the car, eating mm. breakfast. Even in the clinic, take, even talking to the patient, I talk to God in mm. my mind. You, you pray for the patient silently. Mm. I mean, you're praying the whole day. Mm -hmm. And that's not Lord. Ang dami ng minutes ng prayer ko. You, you bless me, Lord. Hindi ganun. Mm -hmm. You don't count that anymore. It's, that's koinonya, di ba? It's fellowship. Yeah. You, you fellowship with the Holy Spirit in you. That's prayer already. Mm -hmm. And then you will be guided by the Spirit in the things that you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that you'll have uh, great breakthroughs in life because the Bible says the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. Mm. All truth is not only gospel truth. Mm -hmm. All truth meaning you'll be given ideas like paano makaimbento ng tubig gagawin gasoline. <laughs> paano iba? Paano maka-charge ng cellphone na hawakan mo lang sa init lang ng kamay mo. Mm -hmm. Don't say that did not come from God, those inventions. Mm -hmm. God is the supreme being. Mm -hmm. He will give those information to those who are open. Mm. So meaning wow. he, he will solve your 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 life mm. and he will use you mm -hmm. to bless others and by that you will of course earn because you're mm -hmm. solving a lot of people's problems. problems because of the ideas that God is giving you mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit. So he is he is really here for us to have prosperity and blessings on earth. Mm. And then when we sleep, meaning the day that he will take us we will have more prosperity and blessings mm. in heaven. So, mm. And that's only by the effort of Jesus Christ because mm. we become righteous already by His performance, not by our perfect performance, which is impossible. Wow. Amen. That is awesome. Mm. And I'm sure uh, Kanika sharing has yes. helped our listeners a lot. And when we stand before God, when we come before God, we are righteous. We have been made perfect forever. We have been made righteous by faith. And if righteousness could not be attained by faith and it has to be performed by obeying the law, then Christ died for nothing. Yes, yes. And the truth of the matter is, He did not die for nothing. He accomplished perfectly, successfully, what He came to accomplish. When He came to die on the cross, He accomplished His purpose. Amen. And the Father... Father God in heaven has a people who are righteous. That's you who believe, you who receive Jesus Christ, 
you are made righteous, not by your own righteousness, mm -hmm. but a righteousness that is by faith, mm -hmm. a gift from God. And so let's make use of this righteousness. Yes. Let's come before God yes, yes. boldly, with confidence, mm -hmm. without any hesitation, without mm -hmm. any condemnation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Believe. Mm -hmm. And the Lord will do amazing things yes. to those who believe. Yes. You know, yung, mm -hmm. your, your prayers will, uh, will become a sweet aroma wow. in God. Ne just never boast of what you have done mm -hmm. because that will divert the issue to yourself. Mm -hmm. and not to Christ. Shift the focus to self, no? That's, yeah. that's the danger. Pag sinabi mong, Lord, tatlong beses ako nagsimba ngayong week. <laughs> I-bless mo na ako sa aking dinadasal. <laughs> so sabihin ni Lord, okay, you want me to count all the things that you've done right? Okay, let's let's bring back the Ten Commandments and let's measure. Let's measure your, your, your good things because you, you are boasting of your performance. And when the Ten Commandments is released, you will always fail. Kasi hindi mo ma-perfect yun eh. That's why never boast of what you've done if you want to receive from God. Boast on what Jesus has done. Kasi even if the Ten Commandments will be open, it will always be perfect. Because only Jesus has performed the Ten Commandments. That's why Jesus has fulfilled the Ten Commandments. That's why it's no longer being opened. Because for us to be righteous, it's not that you memorize it, then you follow it. Mm. You to be righteous is just by believing in Christ. Mm -hmm. And by transfer, you are righteous now. Even by just watching, by just watching now, you are righteous by believing. Mm. But if you don't believe, yun lang naman ang requirement. Eh. Mm. Do, do you believe in that? Mm. Sabi, hindi ako naniniwala <laughs> oh, the, that The gift is not received by you. Yeah, no matter how much. Yeah, yeah ayaw mo tanggapin eh. Mm. Gusto, ni, gusto ni God lang naman is, do you believe? That, sabi ni God, unless you have faith, no, you, you cannot please the Lord. It's, it's the faith that pleases God. Why? Because mm. oh, it's only by the faith that you can receive that you are righteous. Mm. Eh, wala kang faith eh. Ayaw mo maniwala. You want to mm. be a Pharisee. You want to perform. Mm. So, you you have uh, re disregarded the gift. Sayang naman. Mm. Andiyan na, hindi mo patanggapin. Mm. Sometimes kasi it's so easy, too good to be true, ayaw, ayaw mo tanggapin. Mm. But that's what Jesus wants us to have. He mm. did it, we just need to receive. Yes. Yeah. You know what? Uh, those of us who are listening right now, uh, can I share to you uh, a suggestion on what to say before God. Yes. Just say, Father God, thank you that I am righteous in Christ. Amen. Father God, thank you that I am your righteousness in Christ. I belong to you. And he, that, that simple sentence like, yeah. I am yes. righteous before your eyes and I am accepted and uh, I, I belong to you. Mm -hmm. Just that sentence, you yes. can repeat that. I can say that again and again yes, and again yes. and again all throughout the day and without it, how can i tire of saying it yes. you know how can i it's just awesome Amen. and it will fill our hearts with with god's love this is the way mm -hmm. to let our hearts be filled with god's love and when we are filled with the love of god then his wisdom will follow then his guidance will follow and then yes. his blessings will follow amen can I, can I add one more? Yes, Doc. Uh, hindi, na, hindi, na, hindi natin na-discuss yung Abraham's blessings. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says that by faith in Christ, we become part of the descendants of Abraham. Wow. Now, the Abraham was blessed by God of prosperity, health, and riches. Mm. Whatever you touch will prosper. Wow. For the Abraham's descendants, which are the Jews. But we are not Jews. We are mm. Filipinos. But sabi sa Bible, if you have faith in Christ, you become a descendant of Abraham, mm. worthy of the blessings, mm -hmm. to, the, to be the heir of the world. Mm -hmm. So, when I'm depressed, mm -hmm. the same way I do, I do that prayer, I am righteous by faith in Christ, mm -hmm. the, therefore my prayer will be answered because my prayer is a prayer of a righteous one because I am a righteous by faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. Then, number two, I say, by faith in Christ, 
I am a descendant of Abraham. Mm. And because God mentioned blessings to Abraham, those blessings of prosperity mm -hmm. and breakthroughs is upon me. Mm -hmm. Because of Jesus Christ pa rin. Because I cannot mm -hmm. be a descendant of Abraham not by Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So even if I have a big problem now, God cannot lie because he, all his descendants will be blessed mm -hmm. and I'm part of it now. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm good, I perform still by faith in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So with that, God will understand that I understood. Mm -hmm. Oh, you understood my way of blessing. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's not because of how good you are, it's because mm -hmm. how good Jesus Christ is. And how what I mentioned to Abraham, that is going to be passed through the descendants mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ. Actually, that's another wonderful topic. Mm -hmm. But that's how I pray. I, I mentioned that I'm righteous and then I, I declare I'm a descendant of Abraham by faith in Christ. Mm. So when you pray, that's going to be an effective prayer. Because you are an heir yeah. of the promise. Heir of the promise mm. of Abraham. The, the blessings mentioned to Abraham is flowing mm. through the generations, hitting people who are under his, the descendants. Wow. And to those who are not Jews, we believe in Christ Jesus, we become part mm. to that lineage. And even more powerful, why? Because it's through Christ Jesus. Yes. It's through His Son. Mm -hmm. So meaning, God blesses people, intention to bless us noon pa. Mm. Ni-release na yung blessings kay Abraham pa. What a good God. And, and, mm. and, and the Bible says that the blessings will, will chase you. Oh. Meaning, I thought blessings are things. Mm -hmm. Blessings are spirits, actually. Mm -hmm. Paano ka change kung thing ka lang? Mm -hmm. I mean, it will chase you, overcome you. Run after you. Run after you, overtake you. Wow. If you are a descendant of Abraham, and if you are, you have perfected the Ten Commandments. Mm. Yun yun. <laughs> to do, <laughs> yung <Jews>. blessing na yun, <laughs> para lang yun sa naka-perfect ng Ten Commandments, uh, uh, tsaka sa descendant uh, na Abraham. Mm -hmm. Eh, sabihin mo, sige, i-perfect ko ang Ten Commandments. Ayun, bumalik ka na naman. <laughs> You're pa you cannot perfect the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. You can perfect the Ten Commandments by faith in Jesus. So, solve na. Mm -hmm. Kasi si Jesus ang nag-perfect nun eh. Mm -hmm. Eh, sabi ko, paano ako maging descendant Abraham? Eh, saan ako nila pulapo eh? Yun yung linya ko eh. <laughs> descendant of Lapu-Lapu. Descendant, -lapu. descendant of Lapu-Lapu ako eh. Ano, ano, daguhoy. Daguhoy. <laughs> Pero by, the Bible says, by faith in Jesus, <laughs> You actually you become born again mm -hmm. to become part of that lineage spiritually. So, I mean, by that alone, you know you you, you will be safe. You may have problems, but you know you have a God that cannot lie, and mm -hmm. the the God mentioned all these blessings. Mm -hmm. So that's why Joseph the dreamer mm -hmm. is a descendant of Abraham, right? He was promoted. Even he was in prison. He was blessed. He was blessed and he was not even crying in the prison. Why? Mm. He knows I'm a descendant of Abraham. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to be blessed. I'm in prison now. Mm -hmm. But God cannot lie. I will, I will get out of this prison. God mm -hmm. will bless me. I know that. Mm -hmm. The same way if I have problems now, may problem ako, Lord, but I'm going to get out of this. Why? Because I'm a descendant of Abraham through mm -hmm. Christ Jesus. Without Jesus, mm -hmm. you cannot link to that blessing. Christians cannot link. If, if, if you're not a Christian, meaning all Christians are linked to the blessings of Abraham, mm -hmm. just you have to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. Because God is just looking, do you really believe in that? Mm -hmm. And God is looking at your heart if, mm -hmm. you have, if you really believe. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Mm -hmm. So God will really look at or watch what you will say. Mm -hmm. If you say, I believe I'm righteous by faith, that's the abundance of your heart. Mm -hmm. If you say, I believe that the blessings of Abraham is flowing to me mm -hmm. by faith, then God says, you, you have faith. But you spoke it. Mm -hmm. That's the abundance of your heart. Mm -hmm. If you don't speak it, most, of, most likely you don't really believe that. Mm -hmm. Most likely you just want to perform and show to the Lord, Lord, I'm very good. I, I, I went to church. Bless me. Mm. So you're like a Pharisee. Mm. 
Mm. Then you, you wonder, Lord, bakit hindi mo binibigay sa akin? Ang dami ko nang ginawa. Umaangal ka. We, we blame the Lord. You blame the Lord. And you're counting what you've done. That's what the Pharisee do. Mm. Ang dami kong ginawa, hindi mo ako binless, Lord. Mm. Because you're focused on what you have done. Mm. You focus on what Jesus done. Receive it, then pray. That's for us. In a short, in a capsule, mm. an effective prayer. You, co- you focus on what He has done. Jesus has done. Not on what you, has, you have done yes. or what you can do. Yes. But always focus on the person of Jesus yes. and what He did and what He, has, he is doing. So this, is, this sharing is all about focusing on Jesus. Yes. Focusing on Him because he, he is the centrality of it all. No? Yes, yes. And uh, the difference, uh, going back to what you said, Doc, with the difference between uh, Old Covenant prayer and New Covenant prayer, again, as what you said, New Covenant, now, we are descendants of Abraham. Yes, we are heirs yes. to the promise. Yes. All these magnificent, incredible promises God made to Abraham, that is yours already. Yes. That is yours. And so here, this, the wonder of this, it all, is we are a people of the promise. Yeah, amen. We have promises to claim, and our Father, He delights in fulfilling all of these promises. Yeah. He is a faithful Father, faithful. and He has never once failed. Amen. And uh, so we are, we encourage everyone to believe. Yes. You know, uh, just, just believe. Yes, though. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, uh, Forget all your mistakes. Mm. Don't focus on that. Jesus has already paid okay. for those mistakes. Yes. And then uh, always claim you are righteous, especially when you fail, actually. Mm. True faith is when you fail, actually. Sometimes those who fail, when we fail, we try to pay for our, you know, yeah. try to offset. Offset. You know, like I made a... I made a big failure, so I'm going to do something really good to upset. Yes. Do a lot of good, good things, good works to upset yes. the bad things I did. That is not how it yes. works. Yes, because if, if you do, if you say, sabihin nyo, danabihan ko yung good things ko mm-hmm. kaysa sa mga bad things ko. Kung mas madami yung good things ko, good deeds ko, kaysa sa bad, maging righteous na ako. Mm-hmm. Then you really forgot the verse James 2.10 that one wrong is guilty of all. Mm-hmm. Eh, nakasulat yun eh. Mm-hmm. So, kahit pa 100 yung good mo, 5 lang yung wrong mo, may wrong ka pa rin. Failure. You, you fail pa rin. Mm-hmm. That's the Bible. Mm-hmm. In order to solve that, you don't need to overtake that by performance. Mm-hmm. You just believe in Christ and you have overtake it immediately by faith. Pero alam ko yung nakikinig ngayon, Pastor. Yun ang, eh, ibig sabihin, gagawa lang tayo ng mga kasalanan yan. Mm-hmm. Yan ang sasabihin ng iba ngayon na mm-hmm. kung by faith ka naging righteous, ibig sabihin, gagawa, na, gagawa ka na lang pala ng kasalanan na ngayon. How, oh, yun, yun ang usual na if, if they will ask, dangerous yan. Baka ibig sabihin, kung righteous ka na by faith, ibig sabihin, hindi ka na mag-perform. Mm-hmm. So, what do you say about that, Pastor? I believe, uh, the opposite will actually happen. Mm. There will be actually a, an increased performance. Yes. And this time, it's not uh, dead works. Yes. It's uh, life. It yes. comes out of who we are. We're just, like uh, before, when we were not yet in Christ, we were sinners. Yes. And nobody taught us to sin. It's yes. so natural. Nobody <laughs> trained us. Nobody was there nga, trying to tell us every time to, to just commit sin. No, nobody was. We were just doing what we were naturally born to do. Yes. We were sinners. But now, we were be, we've been born mm. a second time. And we are in the process of discovering our true identity. Yes. And the more we discover who we are in Christ, the more naturally, spontaneously, mm. we actually do mm. the works of our Heavenly Father. Yes. Love is something natural. It's not something I'm forcing myself to do. Yes, yes. And uh, living a life that is righteous and holy is not something I'm forcing myself to do. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's, it, it doesn't take discipline anymore. Yes. It's just natural. It's just something. Mm. The nature of my father is my nature now. Yes, yes. So this is, uh, this is the opposite, actually. <laughs> it's, the, it's the opposite. Because <laughs> yung fear nila eh, na... Yeah. If you, if you tell people that, 
mm. people might do sin mm. uh, more. Mm-hmm. Pero ang in all truth, actually nasa Bible na if if you if you say no, sabi nga ni, ni Paul no, whatever is I is not allowed for me mm-hmm. to do, I tend to do. Mm-hmm. Meaning the more I put rules on you, the more you tend to do against that rule. Mm-hmm. But if you believe that by faith you are righteous in Christ, there's the, the temptation will be lesser. Mm. Kasi all the more, if I'll say, Pastor, you could open this door, you could open this door, but don't open this door. At the end, you want to open that locked oh, door. Yes. Kasi sinabi ko, don't oh. open that door. Yung mga yeah. pwedeng open ayaw mo i-open. Yung, pwedeng, yung bawal, gusto mo nang i-open. Mm. So there's a tendency, a curiousness. Mm. But if, if you believe that righteous by faith, mm-hmm. the fruit of the Spirit, that's why the Holy Spirit came. Mm-hmm. So that the fruit, the fruit of love mm-hmm. and joy will come out naturally. So that's, that will solve yung fear nila na you will do sin. How can you do sin if you are filled with love and joy? Yeah. Kung masaya ka, tumatawa ka, are you planning to do sin? Mm-hmm. No, you're happy. Mm-hmm. If you love somebody, mm-hmm. even if I will not give you rules how to do good to this man, You will do good. Why? Because mm. you have love. That's how God solved mm. your performance. Yeah. And, and, and for God, your performance is very easy, lighter. Yung nga sabi ni Jesus na, Come unto me, all of you are heavy laden, and mm. I'll give you rest. Mm-hmm. Because my, my yoke is easier, my mm. lighter. Meaning, the, 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 the law is heavy. But for Jesus, you can do good by just love. Mm. Just follow how I did it. Mm-hmm. And and if you fail, don't worry because your failure has been paid already. Mm-hmm. So you're safe. Mm-hmm. Amen. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm sure uh, our viewers have enjoyed and I'm yes. looking forward to more of our yes. conversations. Doc. It's an honor. It's an honor. Effective prayer. Effective prayer. Through our righteousness in Christ and... Uh, our being heirs of the promise wow. as descendants of Abraham. Grabe yung power nung pastor. Uh, the, the heirs, the example of the heirs, I, I, I lecture mm-hmm. this, the examples of the heirs of Abraham, the Jews, mm-hmm. is no less than the face, Facebook. See, mm-hmm. Mark Zuckerberg is a Jew. Mm-hmm. Steven Spielberg is a Jew. Mm-hmm. Albert Einstein is a Jew. Wow. There's a promise in these Jews that whatever they touch will prosper. Ooh. Now, I'm not saying that we follow their lifestyle mm-hmm. because God blesses you based on His promise, mm-hmm. not based on your performance. Mm-hmm. So I don't know the life of Mark Zuckerberg, mm-hmm. but the blessing is upon him because he's an Abraham's descendant. Mm-hmm. So even if he fails, the blessing is there because God cannot lie. Mm-hmm. Jew, siya, eh. even if he's mm-hmm. sin, he's still a Jew. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's permanent for him. Mm-hmm. And we want that kind of blessing, of course. Wow. But we are not Jews. Mm-hmm. But by faith in Christ Jesus, we become Abraham's descendant, mm-hmm. heirs of the promise. Mm. Imagine that kind of blessing. <laughs> and we are a <laughs> people of the promise. We just need to remind ourselves and declare yes. so that uh, you, you didn't... Mm. Because God is just looking at our faith. That's mm. all. Do you re- really believe? If, Or you, you want to go back to your performance. That's, that's it's what good. Faith in Jesus versus faith in Self. my performance, performance, my ability, yes. my capability. To make it sure, Pastor, sometimes yung absinut sa simbahan, sige absent, once a year lang umatin. <laughs> versus doon sa leader na nagpipreach. <laughs> Kung yung leader, yung pastor, sabi niya, Lord, i-bless mo ko, I've done a lot of things. Mm. Ero yung sinner na once a year lang mag-attend, sabi niya, Lord, ang dami kong absent. What can I boast except that by faith in you, I am righteous? Mm. Who will God bless now? The, the pastor is boasting on the things that he has done. The other one, he only boasted on Jesus because the only thing he has is Jesus. Mm. This other guy will be blessed. Yeah. So the first will be last, the last will be first. 
Wow. Amen. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doc. Praise God. It's a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God.